it turns out that the manipulation mechanism is the same. And the most important question, where is the real me in all this? But the power of demons cannot be total over a person, otherwise you. None of this would make any sense at all. Of course, their power is not total. And that's exactly the point of getting out from under their power. You can even put demons at your service. But there are things that greatly contribute to their power over a person not to weaken. For example, alcohol and drugs. Why, for example, cannot drink alcohol? After all, real occultists, magicians do not take alcohol at all. Because they know what it is and how alcohol works. Just one glass of beer or a glass of champagne, and you will be a slave to the devil for a month, completely under his control. And all this month you will have no freedom, no creativity, nothing. By creativity, I mean when a person creates something, engages in activities where fresh concepts, ideas are needed and where data needs to be summarized. Many inventors have come to this from their own experience. For example, Landau, a Nobel laureate in physics. So he wrote that he stopped drinking alcohol when he noticed that after he drank even one glass of champagne, then for a whole month. For a whole month, not a single creative idea came to his mind. And so it's one glass. Can you imagine what happens to alcoholics or drug addicts? An alcoholic is 100% slaves of his demon. There is no safe dose of alcohol consumption. That alcohol and drugs have the same effect on a person at the energy level. And now count how often you use and you will understand for yourself what are your chances of escaping from the power of demons. And what it will lead to in the end. That's the reality. Therefore, a real magician will never come close to alcohol and will not take a drop. Especially to drugs. And Holy Communion. In the church, remember. What do you think? Whose hands are these tricks? Did Jesus Christ give anyone wine to drink? What was described, what he gave to his students, was not wine, but the juice of the first imagination, which improved digestion. It did not contain alcohol. And look at the modern fathers. Wine gushes buckets, and not just wine, and calls himself the Holy Fathers. Funny. I'll tell you this, today the priests of all religions are essentially publicans, tax collectors. And they perform only one role, they collect tribute from you for the elder demon. And they are as far from God as any sinner. If in doubt, look at what signs they surround themselves with. Look at their actions, at this theater, the show they are playing for you. Look at what they are fighting for in this life. Are they fighting for your souls? No. They fight among themselves for your pockets. It seems that they want power over you and money for themselves in this life. But in fact, it's the demons who force them to take your lives and make slaves of you. And the most important thing is that the priests are not even recruiting you into slavery for themselves, but for demons. Because they are slaves themselves. Because they are just publicans. Yes, some magicians are much closer to God than those whom you call holy fathers. Because at least magicians don't lie. They are honest. They know what changes what. Do you know the difference between a priest and a magician? Priests of any religion are just slaves of small demons. Everyone is selfish, arrogant. All they do is show off. They are simply taken away by small demons. And the magicians, real magicians, 
they know the world. They know how it works, they know it for what it is. The priests have no idea what their prophets have told them. Everyone forgot. And they do not understand anything, do not realize and do not see. They are in the system. They are just publicans who collect tribute from those suckers who come to them and take their lives. They give false hopes to people, and in fact lead them to hell. And didn't Jesus Christ talk about this? That the blind will lead the sighted? Didn't the Prophet Muhammad talk about it, warn you about it? Everyone was talking. People just don't listen. And why? Because their ears are closed by the same demon, pride closes them. Supposedly they are smart and know everything. But in fact, none of them knows anything if they are all walking under a demon. And it's true. Think for yourself, how can someone who is obviously dead fight for someone's life? How can a slave fight for someone's freedom? How can he show you the way if he himself has never known it? All that your priests can do is push away and pretend to be those who they are not. They teach you things they don't know themselves. And I'm telling you the truth. And you feel it now. That's the power.